six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And go Falcon, go to Larry. Copy, one Alpha. Vehicle is pitching down range. Data on propulsion is nominal. Nice views from the ground camera, and nice view from inside Dragon. Handback chill is underway. The announcement lets us know we've begun the final chill of the second stage engine in preparation for its activity coming up at about T plus 2 minutes and 40 seconds. There's that shutdown. The landing burn on the first stage should be starting up here momentarily, and there it is. Landing burn has begun for... Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system disarmed. Copy that SpaceX and we show the scene. And a lot of events happening right there, but you can see that the stage... I believe this view here is, yep, it's of the trunk. We can see it separating from the second stage. A gorgeous view. We can see that Polaris Dawn. Separation confirmed. Polaris Dawn flying free into the sunrise. Dragon SpaceX for high apogee. Go SpaceX. Dragon, you've soared to over 1,400 kilometers and you're farther from Earth than any other person since the last Apollo mission over 50 years ago. Copy that, 
Yeah, at SpaceX, uh, we all look forward to our friends at the Artemis program to take us to even greater heights. Awesome, Sean. Thank you. I'm going to have my crewmates come in to the picture with me, and I will introduce them. Give us one second. First up is our commander, Jared Isaacman. And then we have our mission specialist, Sarah Gillis, floating into view. And now we have mission pilot, Kid Poteet. We're at about 4.5. We're going to see that tick down. It's going to get down to just under one, and it's not going to go all the way down. Um, and then what we'll actually see is we've got a capability to open the hatch automatically. We've got a motor in it, uh, but Jared's actually going to unlatch it, and he's going to give it a little tug to kind of break the seal, break this, any of the kind of the stiction in the hatch itself, and that's going to kind of take the capsule down to its final vent. Once again, this helmet cam, what we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. So the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. I'm at the bottom of the mobility wave. Exactly. Wow. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging Copy from... Copy with you, test makers one, watching from the nose cone. SpaceX copies. what to do in this scenario, just pop it back in. Reseat it. Final between 19 and It might be best reseated with hatch closer. SpaceX copies. Can you repeat the location? Copy EVA complete. Between 19 and 18. All right, copy. I'll track that and uh, ask again when you're in ingress. I would say in all three translational axes, I'm having certainly cross couple movements. Forward, back, I am inducing a bit of a roll. Left, right, and up, down, a bit of a kick, but all our achievable rating is three. Yaw 
Oh, the three. Burl with a four. From left man, stepping into vertical translation. To to the professionalism for for Jared, for Sarah, for the whole crew, really. Uh, like that's that's got to be that's, this is something they've been training for for years, and it's got to be really hard. <laughs>